Pittsburgh versus Cincinnati, two cities with sports rivalries that go back many years. And now, a potential new rivalry is forming between the city's two soccer franchises, FC Cincinnati and the Pittsburgh Riverhounds. Highmark Stadium was filled with the usual colors of black and gold and the Steel Army supporting their favorite team, the Pittsburgh Riverhounds. But there are also a new color filling another section, Cincinnati's orange and blue as FC Cincinnati fans came and made the trip. Fans from both teams are eager to watch their team get their first win of the season. Both also expressed that they would love to see Pittsburgh and Cincinnati develop a soccer rivalry that's right on par with Pirates and Reds or Steelers Bengals. Talk with everybody, they say this is a rivalry. We don't see this as a rivalry yet. They haven't earned the ability to call us a rival yet. So um, we're just going to be loud like we always are. We're just going to do what we always do, and that's terrorize the opponents. You know, we'll see what happens with it. Obviously, um, other sports, it's a different story. Uh, but we'll see what kind of grows here. So we were just hanging out with the Steel Army people out there, and they seem pretty nice. So uh, yeah, we'll see where it goes. Well enough, so. The Riverhounds held their ground with a solid defensive shape and created a few effective counterattack opportunities in the first half, including four corner kicks and getting six shots on goal. Unfortunately for the Riverhounds, the match turned when center back Gail Agabasamunde came out to challenge a streaking Andrew Weidman on the right side in space, about 50 yards from goal. For Agabasamunde, it was his second caution of the half, his second yellow card resulting in a game ejection. Playing down a man for the rest of the match, the Riverhounds would eventually concede a goal early in the second half as Weidman's cross found DGB Fall near the far post. After the game, Mitchell, who had played in his first full pro game, reflected on his team's fight and effort. First half, I actually felt pretty comfortable as well. Um, I didn't feel too nervy. Um, that was actually my first professional debut. So um, for three years waiting to play, you kind of get a little hungry to start off right off the bat. And uh, that's what it showed as I came out for a high ball that I probably shouldn't have come out for. And I'm used to being able to come out for those things and nice and easy. I haven't played in, in a full 90 minutes. Um, so I think just going back, watching the film and saying, okay, those are the things I can't do anymore. And kind of relaxing and now becoming a goalkeeper that is calm, cool, collected, and could be a fighting force. FC Cincinnati's head coach, Alan Koch, earned his first victory as club manager, but he was impressed with the effort from both his team and from the Riverhounds. Very organized group uh, yeah. with a lot of talent. Uh, like I said, I watched quite a few of the games from last year, scouting and preparation for this, but that's a quality group of players. I give, uh, give Dave a lot of credit. He's put a fantastic group together. I think in the first 45 minutes, they showed really how good they're going to be this year. Mitchell also reflected on a terrific fan support from both sides today. Our Steel Army guys, they're, they're professionals. I mean, they're, we're, it's not as big as maybe they would like it to be, but everybody that shows up, they're bantering, they're going at it, they don't stop. Um, I didn't really hear much of the Bailey Bastards, whatever their names are. Um, all I was hearing from them was Twitter, so uh, that was it. And other than that, before the game, there was a lot of Twitters. Uh, there was a thing where they, we lost, uh, I had to give them a pair of gloves signed, and then uh, they gave me a couple scarves, and they enjoyed it. So I love the band. Thing. I mean, I think it's fun. It keeps us honest. That's what we strive to play in front of. So, um, yeah, it was awesome. And I think the Steel Army flooded them out. Now we got to make sure when we go up to Cincinnati, we flood out the score and flood them out as well. Remember, for coverage of the Pittsburgh Riverhounds and all things soccer in Western Pennsylvania, be sure to follow PittsburghSoccerReport.com and our new YouTube channel. I'm John Krasinski with Pittsburgh Soccer Report.